Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing chiching number 102 is what we are on. So we're just going to get straight into it. Uh, the first thing that I... Amelia is out in the hallway playing with her toys. So if you hear any growling or ruckus, that's her. Um, anyway, the first thing we have is an American Eagle Men's Body Spray. This sold for $25.99. And I picked this up at a yard sale over the summer. And I think I paid about 2 or $3 for it. Uh, the next item came from an auction. This was actually a really cool set. Um, it was a poker chip carousel, but the entire um like the poker chips and everything were made out of bakelite which um you know is a collectible thing a lot of people collect um bakelite type of items uh, but this carousel set we did win at an auction we sold it for 299 dollars and 99 cents and i think we paid potentially close to a hundred dollars for that one um, next item we have is a Nintendo 64 Game Shark. This sold for $29.99, and I'm fairly certain we picked that up at a yard sale as well. Um, at one point, we stopped at a yard sale, and Eric had gotten like a bundle of video game stuff, and I think that's where that came from. Next item did go to a subscriber named Misty. This was for a DVD set of the show Have Gun Will Travel. That sold for $39.99. I feel like Eric picked this up at a fill a bag rummage sale. Uh, next we have a Monster High doll. This was for a Monster High doll named Garrett DeRoke. That sold for $39.99 as well. And he also came from a yard sale. He came from the bin of Monster High dolls that I got at a yard sale for $50. And, oh my gosh, I'm still selling Monster High dolls, and I still have so many more to list. It's insane. Um, next, we have a Cutco wooden knife block. This didn't have any Cutco knives inside of it. It was just the wood block for your Cutco knives. And that sold for $25.99. And I did get that at a yard sale, and I think I paid $2 for it. I sold a Dimensions Midnight Snowman Cross Stitch Kit, again for $25.99, and that probably came from a yard sale. Next item was an Oral-B Rechargeable Toothbrush that sold for $39.99, that also came from a yard sale, I'm pretty sure. I'm very uh, next, we have a Josie Marin Argon Reserve. This was a body butter gift set. Uh, brand new. That sold for $79.99. That did come from an auction. And I say I paid about $10 for it. I don't think anyone knew what it was. Um, next, we have a McDonald's Bill Elliott hat. This was actually like a Batman Forever hat as well, which, you know, up to the cool factor on it, in my opinion. Um, that sold for $19.99. That came from a tray lot of hats that Eric won at an auction. It was mainly NASCAR-related hats, which we still do have a few that haven't sold yet, um, but a lot of them did go. Uh, next, we have a vintage Mickey and Minnie Mouse kids hoodie. This was a children's um, hoodie sweater that sold for $12.99. I got that at a yard sale. I'd say I paid about a quarter or 50 cents for it. This next item did go to a subscriber named Gaylene. This was for a set of feet salt and pepper shakers. These were so stinking cute. I love them. Love, love, love them. Those over $12.99. And I'm not sure if those came from a yard sale or if they came on like a tray lot of some items that I won on um, at an auction. Next was a blown glass um, mushroom shape. This was a paraffin oil lamp. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, this thing was gorgeous. That sold for $19.99 and I did win that at an auction, I believe for one or two dollars. I also sold a Sock Monkey Jack in the Box ornament. This was so cute. That sold for $19.99. And again, I'm fairly certain that came from a tray lot at an auction. Next was a Fossil Wallet. That sold for $23.99. That probably came from a yard sale. Um, I just like picking up Fossil items. You guys know that. 
And this next item was for a really large plush tiger. This thing was 36 inches long, absolutely huge. It was by a French company, and I know I'm going to butcher this um, name, Jouet's Burger, J-O-U-E-T-S, Jouet's Burger. Um, I won that at an auction, and I feel like I paid 20 some dollars for him, maybe closer to 30. I can't remember exactly, but he sold for $140. So definitely a good brand as far as plush stuffed animals go. And the fact that this thing was so insanely large, I think also helped with it. Um, next item went to a subscriber named Tammy. This was for a vintage, um, it was like a glass cloche with a real um, butterfly inside. I know these types of deck decorative items were um popular I think in the maybe 60s or 70s I'm not entirely sure but I know my grandma had something very similar to this so when I saw it it reminded me of her and I just had to get it um that sold for $17.99 and that came from kind of like a fill a bag sale at a church I think I paid $10 for my bag and I had a bunch of other stuff in it I sold a dollhouse sized ceramic toilet and sink for like a bathroom and a dollhouse. Those sold for $15.99. Again, probably yard sale those came from. I sold a, a cowhide fishing rod holder for $12.99. Eric picked this up at a yard sale and I say he paid maybe 50 cents for it. I sold a lot of two Avon lipsticks in the shade Posy Pink. Those sold for $29.99. I sold a set of vintage Lisa Frank dinosaur erasers. These were brand new, still in their packaging. Those sold for $29.99. Those also came from a yard sale. I'd say I paid a quarter or 50 cents for those. Next was a Peanuts. Um, Charlie Brown music box that sold for $39.99 and that came from a yard sale. I think I paid three, two or three dollars for it. I sold a lot of plastic cookie cutters for $12.99. I feel like these came on a random tray that I won at the auction. I also sold a pair of Torrid Flats for $25.99. Those came from a yard sale. Uh, the next item was for a vintage paperback horror book called Carnival. This sold for $35.99. I got this at a yard sale for 10 cents. Actually, it wasn't even 10 cents because I got two vintage horror books at one yard sale and they only charged me 10 cents. So I paid a nickel for it essentially because the other book is still listed. Um, but that was a great sale. I don't sell a ton of books by any means, but some of the vintage horror paperback books can do really well. Um, next item went to a subscriber named Sandra. This was for a stoneware mushroom incense burner. That's over $26.99. I picked that up at a yard sale. I think it was the same yard sale where Eric got like the video game bundle of um, that had that game shark in there. Um, next was a Jane Seymour Nighttime Renewal Complex. This was a skincare item. That's over $29.99 and that came from an auction, a beauty tray of stuff I won at an auction. I sold a Patricia Nash wristlet for $26.99. That came from a yard sale and I'd say I paid $4 for it. I also sold a Lush Cosmetic Snowflake Knot Wrap. Um, this sold for $12.99. This was mine personally. Um, it came with like a gift set of Lush items I had purchased um, one Christmas ago. <laughs> um, next we have a really pretty, this was a ruffle lace top by a company called Pol, P-O-L. That sold for $19.99. That came from a yard sale and I paid $1 for it. 
I sold a set of four vintage Furby plush Christmas ornaments. These were brand new, still like in their original like clear plastic bag. Those sold for $49.99 and I did win those at an auction. I think I paid $6 for them. I sold a Snow White and the Seven Dwarves play set. You had seen the same play set in another one of my hauls previously where I had purchased, I purchased it at a yard sale. It wasn't 100% complete, I don't believe, um, but it still sold for a decent amount of money. And then, sorry, Eric is texting me. Um, and then I saw a brand new one still in the box at the auction and I was like, oh my gosh, cause I had just sold my one that wasn't complete and not in a box for a really good price. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh my gosh, well I know I can get more than what I sold my last one for. This one's over $149.99 and I paid maybe 10 bucks for it. So that was amazing. All right, sorry about that. Eric is texting me. He went to get light bulbs at Lowe's and then he stopped at the antique store cause he's like waiting for a specific booth to bring out something and they haven't yet but he found a, a cute little vintage noel christmas set so he was asking me if i wanted it and i said yes obviously so um that's what that is okay so let's we were talking about the snow white and the seven dwarfs playset. so like i said i got that at the auction and just so super excited that i had even seen it again basically uh the next item we have was for a this was like a promotional drug representative set for Viox. Um, this came with like scissors and tape and stuff like that. Um, that sold for $24.99. I got that at a yard sale and I'm pretty sure I only paid a dollar for it. Um, some like pharmaceutical type representative um, stuff for like medications can sell. I've sold um, pharmaceutical uh, pens and things like that. I've never seen anything like this before. It was kind of interesting definitely different i sold a five nights at freddy's chica plush for 29 dollars 99 that came from one of the um five nights at freddy's trays of plush that we won at the auction and this one was also one from one of those trays this was for a five nights at freddy's pyrrhic foxy plush again sold for 29 dollars 99 our next item we have is for a cassette tape. This was for a 311 cassette tape. I loved 311 back in middle school. They were like my jam back in middle school. Um, that cassette tape sold for $14.99. I picked that up at a yard sale. I got like a shoebox full of cassette tapes at a yard sale. And I haven't, I haven't list, I haven't listed them all yet because I'm trying to listen to them because I want to make sure that they play good and i'm just never thinking of of playing them which i need i need to do because i need to get the rest of those listed uh next item to go to a subscriber named amy this was for an avon ungaro lipstick that sold for 12 dollars 99 that came from a tray of avon stuff i won at an auction I sold another bottle of that Juve Tress Hair Therapy for $59.99. That came from a beauty tray of stuff I won at the auction. I wish I had more of that stuff because that stuff went quick and for a really good price. Um, next we have, this thing was really awesome. This was for a Felipe Durflinger Tumbler. That sold for $29.99. I won a couple of these at an auction and I think this is the only one that sold. I still have other ones listed and they haven't gone yet. So that's a little sad, but um, that one did go. I sold a set of Hercules plates. You guys all remember these. They're worth money now. Um, you can sell the plates singly. Like if you only have one, I've done that before. But you definitely want to find the complete set or make the complete set because they obviously sell for the most. These sold for $89.99 as the complete set. And I won those at an auction, I'd say for less than $20. I sold a vintage Lisa Frank scrapbook for $36.99. That actually came from Goodwill. I got this a while back. Um, I'm pretty sure it was in a, in a Goodwill video I, I did. 
Um, I'd say I paid $1.99 or $2.99 for that. I sold a Texas Instruments Pink TI-84 calculator for $45. Uh, we picked this up, I believe, at a yard sale for a dollar or less. Next we have, this was a vintage Sheffield, England manicure set. This was so stinking pretty. That sold for $19.99. I got that at a yard sale and it was like bundled with a bunch of other stuff. I think I made like a whole box and she only charged me $5 for the entire box. And I actually do have another one of these sets listed that hasn't sold yet. It looks pretty much the same. It's just ever so slightly different. I sold a Chuck E. Cheese vintage wrist token holder. Um, so it was just like a little pouch that you could wear on your wrist to hold your Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Vintage Chuck E. Cheese stuff, some of it sells. Um, this was on a tray of some random kids toys that I won at an auction. And I was interested because of this specific piece. Um, it sold for $13.50, and I'd say I only paid $1, $2 for the tray, and there was other stuff on the tray as well. I sold a set of vintage Sears Christmas ornaments. These were actually marked West Germany, so they were older. Um, that sold for $29.99, and those came from a yard sale. I'm pretty sure I paid $1 or $2 for that box. I also sold a Holt Howard Toll Angel for $39.99. This came from an auction. I had sold one of these already before, so when I saw another one, I knew right away that I could um, sell it and what I could potentially sell it for. And then the last thing that I have for this cha-ching was for a cast iron reindeer chocolate mold that sold for $379.00. And 99 cents that did come from an auction where Eric had won a bunch of um, cast iron chocolate molds a lot of them have sold we still have um, some left they are selling people still use them um, so definitely one of those things like we sold before and when we saw them again we knew right away um, that they were worth money so it's kind of nice when you're reselling um, when you sell something and then you see it again you know you know right away what you can potentially get for it everything for this specific cha-ching um as far as sales go we are in the end of November currently and I think sales are going really well um Christmas stuff I think I said in my last um cha-ching video Christmas stuff is selling really well right now obviously um so definitely keep getting your Christmas stuff listed if you have not got it all listed yet um, there's, I still have Christmas stuff that I need to list, so I need to follow my own advice sometimes and get to it, but I've also been neglecting, um, filming my YouTube videos, so I'm trying to catch up with YouTube videos as well as getting stuff listed before Christmas comes. Um, so, you know, it's just been very, very busy. Um, Eric and I have still been going to auctions because there isn't yard sales anymore um any yard sale videos that you will see me post will be from you know months ago um there they aren't like recent yard sale videos by any means but i still have yard sale video footage um to continue to make a couple more yard sale um videos while we're in like the dead of winter <laughs> um and i know i keep saying i've been wanting to go back to some thrift stores and do some thrifting videos because it's been a while and since you know the cold is coming and there isn't going to be yard sales um my main places of sourcing obviously will continue to be auctions but um, I do still want to like be able to get out and film as well because I don't really film much at auctions. Um, you guys have to let me know like because I feel like those videos never tend to do all that well. Um, so I, do, I just don't know if it's something that like interests everybody when I you know would film at an auction. Um, but I can start doing that again especially if I'm going to like um, estate ones because it makes those are like more interesting when like you're going to someone's house 
and that's like where the auction is I don't know I just always find those auctions to be way more interesting than sitting in a building <laughs> where all of the stuff is um but yeah sales are doing pretty well and knock on wood that they <laughs> stay that way um since you know Christmas is coming hopefully people will continue to um you know purchase some Christmas presents on eBay and you know give us all some good sales but that is pretty much everything for this cha-ching I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope that your sales are doing really well um as well in count of you know Christmas coming and yeah I hope everyone had a really nice Thanksgiving um we always spend our Thanksgiving at Eric's father's house um, so we went there for dinner and then yesterday um, we went to his mom's house to take the dog because she wanted to see the dog and she has two dogs um, so they all got to play together so that was fun um, but yeah I hope everyone is doing well I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time